Hello folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts, here to answer that question we get often. How do I remove mold and fungus from my crawl space? So let's get right to it. Alright folks, so this particular crawl space cleaning is pretty, pretty bad. There's major, major moisture intrusion, a lot of fungus that's creating a lot of mold inside the home. So the first step is I like to give you the visual before we start removing the soil. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, folks, uh, this is why it's so important to do crawl space inspections periodically. You can see the fungus that's growing. fungus here in this uh, sewer trench. Let's get a nice close-up on this. So all of that soil has to be bagged and removed. In order to do that, because the crawl space is inside the home, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we've built a tunnel, a plastic sealed tunnel right to the crawl space area. That's just because we don't want any type of dust, particulates, mold to get into the home. So you might wanna consider if you are removing soil and the crawl space is inside, you might wanna consider doing this. Check this out. Completely sealed with the right tape. And as you come over here, this is the area right here. And uh, again, crawl suits, um, we've got the right uh, respirators. What we're gonna be doing is taking some rope and uh, bagging using proper bags like this. These are very thick, so it can hold the weight of the soil. And then the rope, we tie to the trash, to the bags. We actually here and then haul them to the outside. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Cool. All right, folks, so now that we've got the under crawl space neutralized. Before we do any major treatment there, let's go to the side of the house and I'll show you what the cause of all of this water damage in the crawl space. So let's go ahead and take you there. All right, folks, so here we are at the side of the house. We did our water, hydrostatic water test and determined water is going directly underneath this footing. So let's take a moment and look at the video footage here showing the amount of water coming in from this drain pipe as well as a little further down. Quite a bit of water, correct? Yes, sir. Earth intrusion is seeping through from the exterior. This is confirming that the footing on the exterior is uh, not waterproof properly or the waterproof that's existing has a breach and is allowing the water to, to seep underneath the cross. All right, folks, so now one of the things that I really want to offer to you is these customers spent thousands of dollars on restoration companies, contractors to put this elaborate ventilation system in. It's not going to help. It's critical, critical hire a leak detection experts to figure out where that source of moisture is going into the crawl space. So that's number one, always before you spend any money on any remediation, figure out where the water source is. 
In this particular situation, because it's here, what we're gonna do is waterproof. We're gonna add concrete drainage system as well as a membrane system on the footing to stop that water from going back in. Go ahead and give you this visual because this right here is a protection against water from going underneath the crawl space and affecting, you know, causing mold and fungus. So right here, what we've done is because you've got a lot of rain gutters, we actually swell the drain system into these drains. We have three drains with a four inch pipe that runs down the center of this all the way out to the street. What we did as well is when we excavated down, we went ahead and clean the footing and put our rubberized membrane material as well. So that way if there's any cracks later on in the concrete, we're go going to be protected with that rubberized material. All right, folks. Well, now that all of the outside has been waterproofed and we know now that the water is no longer going to migrate back into the crawl space, now it's time to complete the fungus and mold removal. And as you can see in the crawl space, we've applied the absorbent crystals. And this, what this does is it just takes out the excess moisture from the soil. Well, these are little crystals here. And then, uh, but what we've done before we apply the absorbent crystals is we use our enzyme to kill the bacteria uh, that helps odors and also set up dry down equipment such as dehumidifiers and heat drying equipment. Uh, that does a really good job with killing the fungus. But as you can see here, the entire crawl space now is dry, mold free, and no more fungus because we've actually stopped the moisture from coming back into the crawl space. So anyhow, folks, I just wanted to go ahead and give you some of the sequence of events of what to do, how to treat for fungus and mold, and how to prevent it from coming back. Well, hopefully this video was helpful. Please give us your comments with thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.